Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. I'm still here in Marrakesh on my holiday trip and I thought I'll use the free time to approach a topic I've been asked about a lot. How to get my girlfriend into latex. I received this question um, on Instagram multiple times so I thought I'll tell you my top five tips. <laughs> Point number one, could she be interested at all in this kind of material? You can check out if she likes leather leggings at H&M, how does she react when she sees them. You can check her reaction when she sees a picture of, I don't know, like someone like Kim Kardashian or someone else wearing latex. Is her reaction like, oh, that looks really good or is it like, ew, what's that? That looks really awful or something. So that could be a first indication about how she feels towards that topic. And a side note to that point is wearing latex does not mean having a fetish. <laughs> I have to stress this out because I've, the, uh, I've got the impression that all the guys are like, oh my god, she's wearing latex, she has to have a fetish for that material which is not always the point. Um, I know people who only wear it because it looks really good and for pictures and makes a nice body shape, but they don't necessarily see this as their fetish. So don't, I don't know, sex it up too much. Don't put her under pressure. You may enjoy it as a fetish. Um, so don't think that she has to feel the same way. Lovely. <laughs> okay, coming to point number two. Find the right approach. I think there are two ways to go with this whole topic. So either you gift her something so you make her a present some latex item and uh, she is surprised by it or you kind of come out of the closet and talk with her about it so you can explain to her that you like these kind of materials and then you can try and find something together with her so ask her what she would like to wear or how she sees that stuff and then maybe um, sit together and go online shopping or go shopping so she has a say in it. I think it depends on the kind of relationship you have with your girlfriend, uh, which approach you kind of going to choose. So uh, think about it and what would be the best way to do this with your girlfriend. <laughs> I would prefer, for myself, I would prefer the second way, like going shopping together or having a say in it because uh, girls are shallow and we want to look good and we want to have say in what we're going to wear and most of the time <laughs> uh, women do know better what's going to fit. Tip number... Three. Oh, no, three. <laughs> um, start with PVC. Don't go into full latex mode from like zero to latex, but start with a rather similar material like PVC or wet look because latex is hard to start with if you don't know what you're doing. Wearing latex for the first time may be uncomfortable or irritating because you're sweating a lot. So if you're starting with PVC, you have the same look on the outside because it's shiny and a uh, woman kind of and fashion approach, they come together with PVC as well. Does it make sense? I don't know. Um, but PVC is a lot easier to put on than latex. So um, if she's wearing PVC and she likes it and she feels comfortable, you can take it to the next stage with latex. But I wouldn't start with latex right away. Mm -hmm. 
mastering the tea. Point number four. Don't start with a cat suit. Please don't. Seriously, don't start with a cat suit. I know that you guys may be really into cat suits because it looks smooth and good, but just don't start with a cat suit when it comes to your girlfriend and ladies. Um, they're really hard to put on, especially for the first time, so they can scare women off. <laughs> so start with something simple, like a dress, a sleeveless dress, um, a skirt, a top with a zipper, which is going to be easy to put on. My first latex item was a sleeveless skater dress with a zipper in, the in front, so it was really easy. And uh, I even wouldn't recommend leggings for the first time because it needs a lot of practice to really get into them fast. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> don't mess this up because the first time wearing latex, the first experience is an important one and that one is going to determine the further way of wearing latex. So if she's not um, comfortable with it the first time or if you're, rush uh, if you're rushing her, um, she won't try it again. So uh, keep in mind to keep it simple. Okay, now to the final point. Buying your first latex piece, or the first latex piece for your girlfriend, rather. Um, so many questions. Buying a expensive piece at an online shop, at a store where you can visit, or a designer piece, whatever. So, um, <laughs> let me tell you about my first experience. I think it's a good example. I went to a shop and they had some latex pieces and I asked them oh can I try a dress and they were like yeah go ahead um, go into the uh, cabin change there some powder to get into it and then <laughs> they left me alone and I was like okay so what should I do now and I tried to get into I think it was a dress <laughs> and I got stuck in the middle of pulling over my head which was pretty horrible because I don't like being stuck with my head somewhere <laughs> and so I left that shop kind of disappointed because uh, they didn't really take care of customer service and I was kind of uh, what am I going to do now and then I decided to order a dress online so uh, that's what I did and it was okay it didn't fit that good because if I would have tried that dress in a shop, I probably wouldn't have bought it because uh, I would have seen that it didn't fit. So yeah, it's a bit tricky to buy latex. My recommendation is going into a latex shop and ask the people there for help. Um, first for a design that fits your girlfriend and looks good on her and second for the whole getting into latex know-how. <laughs> and. I prepared a small list because there are a lot of yeah, latex designers which do have stores in big cities. For example, in Germany you have like uh, Chronomatic, Peter Domini or Savageware in Berlin. In Hamburg there's Inner Sanctum. In Amsterdam there's a D-Mask shop. In London there are a lot of designers, Pandora Deluxe, Amentium, Lubidex, House of Harlot. And in USA there are some as well, which I've forgotten to write down. <laughs> Here we go, I asked Ian, a friend of mine, uh, about US stores and he recommended the Siren store in LA or NYC, uh, the Baroness Purple and Purple Passion store. And I've even been in a latex store in Sydney. <laughs> which was called, what, what's the name, Max Black, and they had a nice selection as well. So um, use Google to find a store in uh, your area. And then there's the issue of cheap versus expensive latex outfits. Of course you can't do 
too much damage if you buy something cheap. There are some Chinese manufacturers. But on the other hand, keep in mind that your girlfriend wants to look good. So um, maybe take my advice and buy something from a latex designer. <coughs> Sorry. Because then you can't be sure that it will have a good fit and it will probably look better than buying some cheap non-fitting stuff. Do me a favor, keep your hands off from molded latex, except for maybe gloves, because it won't fit and it will tear a lot easier. Birds are really loud. So to sum everything up, um, don't start with <laughs> cat suits. Start uh, slow, start with similar materials to check out if she likes it. Um, keep in mind that she wants to look good and that it uh, is fashion foremost. And I'm really sorry to tell you this, but there may be a chance that she don't doesn't that she doesn't like latex at all, and she'll never wear it. Sorry. <laughs> I wish you all the best and a lot of success and if you already did get your girlfriend into latex, tell me about it. How did she do it? What was her reaction? I seriously don't want to hear about you as a guy getting into latex because no I don't. <laughs> but I'm really curious about uh, your girlfriend and her reactions and if you have any other tips. So uh, have a great day, bye!